Hi, beautiful souls. Yesterday I had to go to the hospital and for some reason I was convinced that my appointment was in the new part of the hospital. <clears throat> so I arrived there and it was strange to me that the department I was looking for was nowhere to be found and so I must have had a, a quizzical look on my face because everyone kept on coming up to me and going, are you all right? Would you like some help? And I was just like <laughs> amazed at all of this um, kindness from all of these different people. Some were hospital workers, some were just people that were, I don't know, walking the corridors. <laughs> Maybe they knew the hospital pretty well. But everywhere I went, I was literally passed along the corridors like a baton, uh, like a baton of light, like, you know, the torch of light. And these dear beautiful souls were like, here, if you go this way, da 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 da, and then when you get there, then ask somebody else. Not that I was actually even asking anyone, because people were just coming up to me and helping me without me asking anything. And then when I got to the reception, I checked in and was met by a very kind person there and sat down, then saw my doctor who was literally glowing. I could see his. Uh, fields surrounding him. He was like a sun. He had these beautiful, um, beautiful fields around him. And he actually really did look like a sun. He was properly glowing. And I was like, wow, this is amazing that I'm seeing a doctor in a hospital um, and he's actually radiantly glowing. I can see his crystals through his skin. Um, I can see the crystals through his eyes and he's completely radiant. There's absolutely pure radiance in this divine being, this divine multidimensional being. There's, there's uh, so much wonderment there. <laughs> and, um, and what I felt yesterday was this enormous shift in having had sufficient rest just to integrate a lot more light and how important it is to be able to integrate light so that you can become more light because when you become more light and you're more rested you're able to truly um, create the experience that you wish for and that you transcend all of these little icky bits of drama that can filter in just from being around people that you don't actually even really want to be around at times, but they can allow these things in because unless you actually address them, this is what happens. You can have to clear out stuff that you don't want in your experience and you get to choose your experience, every single bit of it. So if there's anything that's out of alignment, it's all down to you. You've put it there and you've brought it there and you've allowed yourself to be aligned with that kind of lifestyle. And I don't, I'm just not for that. I, I'm so through with uh, filtering out other people's nonsense. And that includes family members. Um, you know, I think that it's so easy when your family to become unconscious and offload all of your nonsense onto your family, you're more likely to uh, consider very carefully if you're going to do it with somebody who's somebody that you really um, admire say for example your favorite writer somebody that's your favorite inventor or somebody that you really look up to you're not going to go up to them and start moaning because you don't want to impress them <laughs> with your uh, toxic nonsense you want to impress them with your um, kindness your wisdom your vitality <clears throat> your aliveness. So why would you go down that route? So people become more unconscious with people that they have taken for granted. And often families take themselves, take each other for granted. And then friends, you can take friends for granted as well, but you need to check in with your friends and check that you're actually on the same page and that you want the same things because don't allow friendships just become complacent. You know, friends are supposed to be honored and revered and loved and cherished. And you're not going to always agree with them, and that's fine. But you also don't want to be one of those friends that uses your friends to offload. And you know, we've all done it. 
I know I've done it. I know I've done it plenty of times to my friends offloaded when they've probably been depleted themselves and just needed rest. But what I can say right now is that ex extra amounts of rest, extra amounts of integration are probably the most beneficial thing anyone can do. So rather than going and, and uh, talking things through as if that's going to make a difference to anybody, is stop, be quiet, be aware, integrate, relax and merge through sleep, but also release anything that's in your cells that you're aware of, that comes up, that triggers you, disturbs you, or does anything to you that makes you feel less than calm. Because believe me, if it's not making you feel joy, it needs to go. And you have to be really, really strong about this. It's like when you have a big clear up in your house, you can go, oh, but I really love this book, or I really love this ornament, or I really love this piece of clothing. Or, when was the last time you read it? When was the last time you wore it? You know, how much joy does that ornament give you? If you've got so much stuff that dusting and clearing and everything else is a problem, or if you're going into your wardrobe and you can't look at your clothes because you've got so many there that you can't see anything, then there's no joy there. You have to be ruthless. You have to let things go. You have to be able to release things, allow other people to enjoy them. There'll be other people that can enjoy those things. You have to be strong about it. Most people are so weak about things and then they wonder why their lives aren't the way they wish them to be. It's because they're just practicing weakness, practicing things that don't uplift them, don't support them and don't empower them. But to be an empowered person, it takes a bit of will takes a bit of determination and it takes a lot of courage to be able to say you know what this is what I wish for in my life this is what I wish to experience because in me experiencing the joy and the wonderment and the bliss and the radiance then others will too others will too and that will make a huge difference here on this whole beautiful planet you're so much more than this human that you think you are. I know that a lot of people like to hang on to the human condition, but believe me, it's, it's not exactly fun. We came here to remember that we're so much more and to play with that whilst we're here. You don't have to stay in a, a system that is limited <coughs> and full of polarity. You can free yourself, completely free yourself and live joyfully here on this earth, abundantly, happily, free from disease and illness. But it does take some discipline and freedom does come through discipline. And so yesterday when I saw all of these wonderful humans <laughs> souls, beings, lining the corridors of the hospital and this beautiful light baton being passed down the corridors, helping me to find the place that I was looking for. And then as I arrived, I was met by the most incredible doctor, just glowing with these radiant fields surrounding him. A pure son, just a son, a son of God. We're all sons of God, but he was revealing his son, his inner son. And it just really reminded me that that is what it's about. We can all experience that. We can all live like that. We can all radiate that light by being that light because we hold it within and then it shines outwards. And to be in the presence when somebody is truly light, truly love, truly kind, is such an, a wonderful feeling. We can all, we can all do our part. So if you're ever around somebody who's not making you feel the joy and the love and the light, then you have a choice. You don't have to listen to them. You don't, you don't have to be in that presence. You can actually um, stop that. Because, you know, 
Otherwise, you're just going to train people to allow them to treat you like that over and over again. And you're never going to move beyond the 3D, 4D ways of being. And nobody wants to be stuck there. Not if they're conscious and aware. If you're conscious and aware, you have to be strong if you want to move forwards so that you can create more heaven in this now. One love. We can all step into high versions of ourselves. We can all radiate more light. We can all be more loving, and more light. We do have to be very, very conscious and aware and live in presence and know what is acceptable and what is not acceptable for us so that we can radiate more joy in this world. Peace, love and light you all. My name's Zaza. Thanks for watching.